started recording and realised my microphone was off. Fortunately, I didn't get past the hello and welcome to this video part. But on that note, hello and welcome to episode 40 of my Blackburn Rovers Football Manager 2017 save. So, for those that watched us in the last episode, you'll be more than aware of the fact that we are now in the FA Cup final. We beat Liverpool 3-0 at Wembley, and, uh, well, we're going to be facing Man United in the final. They beat Arsenal 5-1. Uh, wow, okay. Yeah, they're, they're definitely up for it. But, positively, they've got a Champions League semi-final roughly around the same time, so it's going to be tough on their legs. But it could actually give Liverpool the breathing space that they want to maybe win the Premier League. And let's bear in mind that Liverpool are top of the league here. We just beat them 3-0, so so far so good. But to be fair, I don't care about Liverpool for now. All I care about at the moment is beating Manchester City because I want fifth place. To be fair, I'm not really bothered if we get fifth place or not, but it would be nice. Yeah, so we're going to be starting with the same lineup as last time, and on that note, I'll see you at the Etihad Stadium. Right then, Etihad Stadium, 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 it is, and I've uh, just realised that I've forgotten to do something. So, uh, um, attacking midfielder right should be man marking their left midfielder and our left midfielder should be man marking their right midfielder where is he there he is Leroy Sané uh, and on that note I'm actually going to swap these two around actually thinking of it sorry about this Oof. so another interesting point you guys probably can't see because of my head oh right so Actually, if I scroll up and duck down, right, okay, so we're 6th place on 54 points, and they're 7th on 53 points, so a win would be pretty awesome here. But, talking about trying to win, here we go. Obviously, the last time we played Man City, they had a different manager, I can't remember who it was, but now they've got Vahid Halil, Hodz ha Vahid Halil Hodzic, Bosnian guy. I think he manages the Bosnian national team in real life, not sure. But we'll see what happens. Actually, in recent years, our record against Man City hasn't actually been too too shabby. So we'll see how we do. Um, McLean in on goal. Shoots. Good save from Bravo. And as the commentator says, it did look like a bit of a bit of a sitter, to be honest. Uh, disappointed that uh, we couldn't really make anything of it. Looking at the starting lineup, which I've just realised we forgot to do, it's basically the exact same as the Liverpool game. Aguero... With uh, Denis Suarez playing just off him for Man City. Sane out on the right. Pulisic out on the left. Tielemans and Vigil in the middle of the park. So a very different formation to what we were used to seeing under Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. Fabinho at right back. Brooks and Stones. He's Brooks. Ah, yeah, the American guy. They've signed him from Hertha Berlin for some reason. And Jordi Albert left back for Manchester City. So it's going to, without a shadow of a doubt, be a difficult game probably about time we demand a little bit more and hopefully we can grab the odd goal here and there soak up some pressure which we'll have to do against a team like Manchester City try and hit them on the break you can never be too careful when they've got Denis Suarez and Aguero up front of course and then maybe sit back and just tighten up a little bit but uh, here we go another highlight Stones I'll tell you what I was watching him oh god talking about Aguero that, that's exactly what I was talking about and good save there from Radkovic but we've got a counter-attack here. Andre Gray is going to pick the ball out on the right-hand side. Rog shoots. Ooh. So far, so good. Nil-nil, not too shabby. Obviously, I'll just calmly tell the players I'm not happy with what I'm seeing. And uh, really, in terms of the performance, I mean, I guess we've kind of come here not really expecting anything from the game. And we've matched them so far, and we've had opportunities. But so have they, especially when Stones... Starts counter-attacking opportunities like that. Denis Suarez is in, but blazes it over the bar. But, I'm going to have to tell the lads to tighten up and stay awake. Uh, if if you may have noticed our shape, um, that we kind of are two kind of wider attacking midfielders. Um, 
man mark Man City's wide players. That's something I've done quite a lot in my in both my Conte and uh, Klopp tactics. If you've, uh, tactic videos, well, and tactics, if you've not seen them. But here we go, Andre. Oh, God, really good tackle there from Vigil. And again, Aguero is off. You can see it's this. It's really nice counter-attacking football. Oh, from from, bo oof, from both teams. Nano picks it up. Don't lose it, Nano. Oh, well, okay. Oh, we need to do something about the way that that they're counter-attacking. I'm, I'm feeling very uneasy about it. So for that reason, our, our fullbacks are now going to be fullbacks on defend because most of Man City's attacks have come by doing this. Um, oh, God, we missed the tackle. Aguero's in. He shoots. Pulisic scores. Really nice counter-attacking football there from, from Man City. To be fair, I'm almost tempted to applaud it. But who was that, Fabio? We didn't do ourselves any favours throwing that many men forward for the free kick. And again, I can't explain why that many men went forward for the free kick, simply because in terms of the amount of men that went forward for the, for the free kick, it's just set to standard free kicks. And I always moan about it not matching the mentality. But it's kind of my fault as well for not setting it up. So I, I'm not, I can't really moan, to be honest. Uh, Andre's going to get yellow carded. And it's probably time we change things up, I think. These guys are going to have to go on support again, try and get involved in the middle of the park. In terms of what we can really change, I'm going to bring on Miguel. Tell him to support, move into midfield a little bit more. Nano has been very quiet down the middle. In contrast to how well he played against against Liverpool, of course. We'll keep him on for a few more minutes and see what they can do. Demand more of the players as well. Still does kind of feel a bit gutting the way we conceded that goal. And it could very well be time to go a little bit more direct and say hello to... Danny Graham, who's actually now going to go forward as a target man. So we're going to go a little bit more direct. We need to get that ball into the final third a little bit more. So for that reason, we'll try and use whatever physical attributes are left of Danny Graham. He's not getting any younger. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that. Head from Sane, good catch from Rajkovic. And uh, I guess it's a highlight for a reason. So ball played out wide. Good uh, throw. And look at the amount of space here. Oh, look at the amount of... Oh, God, that, that's not even our player. <laughs> wow, okay. Andre, uh, looking... Needs support, but he's gone past the entire Man City team here. Needs to whip it in. Whips it in. Oh, my God, John Stones. John Stones is blue and white, blue and white, blue and white. John Stones is blue and white. He hates Billy. Oh, God. No idea why I just sang that. Oh, what a head. Great header. What a finish. Phenomenal finish there from John Stones. Um, credit where it's due, though, actually, to uh, to Andre uh, playing that ball into the box. But uh, hmm, it, I, I probably need to. Yeah. So we'll we'll turn Danny back into a shadow striker. That way he'll pressure off the ball a little bit more. Of course, Kerem Demirbay is looking a little bit knackered. So for that reason, he will come off. We'll stick on Dara Lenihan as a ball-winning midfielder on defend. And our fullbacks will also now switch to defend. And that'll be our three subs. We're going to look to waste time, play actually fairly narrow. We'll stick to fairly narrow. It's something I like because it's quite a narrow formation anyways. Um, shorter passing, retain possession, really just, you know, look to, to annoy... Um, to annoy Man City now. We've come for a point, and I'll take a point, because it keeps us above them in the table, if you see where I'm coming from. We've made more defensive changes. We've changed our shape. That little bit extra, and I think we should just about be able to uh, to see the game out. They do have a highlight, though. Mario Goetz has come on, who's, of course, obviously a uh, creative player. Sane out on the right-hand side. We've got to be able to clatter him rather than let him do an Andre Gray to us. But we could counter-attack, actually. Talking about the man, the myth, the legend, that is Andre Gray. There he is, but he gets tackled by Vigel. Vigel's incredibly good on this game. 
direct ball forward towards Aguero. We win it, and uh, Danny Graham just about wins that ball. Yes, good stuff from Danny Graham. Miguel passes to Rog, who finds Andre Gray. To Danny Graham. Now McLean trying to hold the ball up, looking for support. Finds Nigel. What can he do with it? He can pass to McLean and he can score. 2 1. I was not expecting that goal. I was not expecting that goal. But you know what, guys? I'll bloody take it. It looked like the players were kind of lost passing between each other. But you can see glimpses of what this tactic does um, in terms of off the ball movement. Very similar to some of the off-the-ball movement that I portrayed in my Klopp tactical video. Uh, I know I keep mentioning my Conte and Klopp tactical videos, but like, in a way, this tactic that we'll, we'll be using more next season was kind of built on certain elements from them as well. What the hell was that throwing? Did, did, did Fabinho just throw the ball out of play? Yes, I've never seen that before on Football Manager. Fabinho just threw the ball out of play. But regardless of that, James McLean has just got us a win away at the Etihad. Uh, right. People had us written off. Well done, lads. I said I'd be happy with a point. To be fair, we've gotten three. We're slowly starting to close the gap against Stoke. Um, credit where it's due to John Stones. I think he deserves goal of the week after that. And that to aside, the reason I mentioned Stoke, it's nice to see more green in the Premier League again, isn't it? It's because they're up next. So, if we can actually beat Stoke in our next game, then it puts us on 59 points. They'll still have a game in hand, though, but obviously, you know, it's all about trying to tighten things up. We'll have Palace away, then Southampton at home. Uh, hopefully, we can do half-decent against Southampton. Normally, they're a very difficult team to play against, but now they've got Sam Allardyce in charge. You can see they... Uh, they're also trying in Europe, in the Europa League. Unlucky Sam Allardyce. The funny thing is, if we do actually end up winning the FA Cup final, that also, I think, qualifies us for the Europa League. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think it does. Uh, Champions League semi-final, though. As you can see, Man United, I don't know, they're just in so many competitions right now. You know, they're on the verge of winning the FA Cup. They're on the verge of also winning the Premier League. They're a point off, and at the same time... They're competing against Barcelona in the Champions League. So, I don't know. Mourinho just has, like, far too many fronts to deal with at the moment. But, until next time, when will next time be? Chances are, guys, next time will be the FA Cup final to, you know, put the icing on the cake, cherry on top of the cake, and finish off this season. If you've liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if there's anyone you think we should sign. Uh, any questions as well. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.